All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to do our daily Bitcoin and Bitcoin miner update. Bitcoin miners had a good day today overall. There was one particular thing on an indicator that I thought was very unexpected, so I want to show you that and take a look at what happened versus what I thought was going to happen. And then we'll look at the indicators and the charts overall and see where we may be going from here. So we cover Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners all the time on this channel. If that is content that you're interested in, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if everybody would please smash the like button, it makes a big difference. It helps the channel out a lot and it gets this video out to more people. So I really appreciate it. So let's start out by looking at the Bitcoin miner big board because it was a very good day today. There's four red things on here and really only one of them is down significantly and that is Mawson. It looked like Mawson was making a little bit of a turnaround late last week because they had been spiraling downward. But unfortunately this week they are red once again. So they were down over 5%. Stronghold was down over 2%. And then DigiHost and Iris were also down a little bit. They were in the red. Everything else was in the green today. And some things had a spectacular day. Core Scientific was up 12.86% today. That is a huge move. They're one of the top three market cap. And they are, to scale, the largest Bitcoin miner as far as operationally by far. Cypher was up 13.5% today. They are on the other end of the spectrum. They have not yet even give us an update as to whether or not they've mined any Bitcoin yet. So they're just beginning. So again, they were up 13.5%, but there was a lot of other really big movers. Bitfarms was up 5.6%. Hive was up 6.5%. Riot was up almost 6%. Riot and Marathon were up about 5.5%. BitDigital was up 7.5%. So you can see a strong, strong day for most of these. Particularly when you get to the chart, you're going to see in the end, Bitcoin hardly moved at all. So in addition to that, the NASDAQ, which was in the green for a lot of the day, did end up in the red. So whereas Bitcoin hardly moved and the NASDAQ was in the red, the Bitcoin miners were very green today. So this was a very, very positive day for the miners. So let's take a look at BitFarms on the 15 minute time frame. So you'll see there's a couple of lines overlapping because I have a long-term line of support here, this purple line at just under 23,000. And as always, we have an orange line here where Bitcoin was when the market closed yesterday. So when the US market closed yesterday, Bitcoin was at 22,962. And you can see this is our closing candle today. So we were we were within a few dollars of that. I mean, within 20 or 30 dollars of that. So although we did have a big up and down during the day, we really finished today almost exactly where we finished yesterday. Despite that fact, and despite the fact that the NASDAQ finished in the red, the Bitcoin miners had that great day that we just looked at. So that was very encouraging. I wanna look at a few of the indicators. I'm gonna try and keep this one brief, but I just wanna show you a few things that happened because we're a little bit in limbo right now. Okay, so this is Bitcoin on the four hour time frame, and you can see that for this period of four hour candles, each one of these candles represents four hours. So we had several candles in a row trending down. And then the last one, two, three, four, so that's the last 16 hours, We've been trending up slightly and we actually had one candle wick get way up here. So, you know, we did pop as you saw on the previous chart. We did get up a bunch in the middle of the day. We pulled back. But what I really want to show you is where this leaves us on the four hour RSI because this is where I thought it was a little bit unexpected. So if you saw yesterday's video in the recap, I drew this circle right here. And we were right at this first point just touching the circle. So so I, I, had, I had said yesterday that I thought it was more likely than not that we would finish our way down and get to oversold territory and kind of reset this cycle that's been happening once, twice, three times, four times. And I thought we were going to bounce off a fifth time. However, I did say there is a chance we could bounce off the top of this circle and head back up. Although I thought it was much more likely we were going to head down into oversold territory. So, so what happened is for, in the last 24 hours, we basically went very sideways, a little bit up and down, but we're left in the same spot here at 44 on the four hour RSI. So I think that leaves open two possibilities. I mean, we still could very well break to the downside and end up going oversold that would be more consistent with what's been going on. However, everything is starting to look like that's not gonna happen, that maybe we're gonna start and get back over 50 
and maybe get back to overbought territory again. So I don't know. We're, we left this, this area right here is very, very neutral. So whereas I thought by now we would have a very clear sign of what direction we're heading, it really looked like that you could see the miners had a very strong day. Bitcoin was absolutely sideways. The four hour RSI was absolutely sideways. This was the time I thought it was gonna spend cooling off and getting back down into these oversold territories. So that did not happen. So now once again, we're right where we were yesterday. Literally, we're almost at the exact same price in Bitcoin. We're almost in the exact same spot on the four hour RSI. So we're gonna have to see, can we break above 50? And I will tell you, this four hour RSI was at about 52 in the middle of the day today as Bitcoin was running. So it pulled way back before that point closed on the four hour RSI. So you don't see that movement on the four hour but it looked like we were breaking above this, and had we finished up here somewhere, that would have been a lot more definitive of a trend. Then, then we definitely would have seen our bounce and our reversal and head back up. But as it is, I think we're gonna have to wait and see. But let me show you a few things that tend to indicate it looks like we are gonna move up from here. So if I just go down to the four hour MACD, you'll see we are getting closer to a bullish cross. We're not anywhere near there yet, but this does move fast on the four hour MACD. You'll see we just had our bearish crossover right here at the peak. We've had this whole run down and you can see the histogram bottomed out and is now moving in a more bullish direction. So. We're still in the red, so we have not confirmed in any way that this is a turnaround yet, but everything does seem to be trending in that direction. Both the MACD lines and the histogram seem to be heading towards a bullish crossover. So again, too soon to tell, but maybe sometime overnight or in the morning, we could get that crossover and have a run up tomorrow. If not, and this heads in the opposite direction, then maybe we do go fill this circle in, although although it may happen a day later than expected. The next thing I wanted to show is this is the Bitcoin chart on the one day time frame. This is the yellow line on here is the 200 week moving average. So one of the things we said in yesterday's video is it would be a very bullish sign if we could hold above this 200 week moving average. At the time we were a little bit below it and I and and what I had said is if we can bounce off of this and head back up and turn this into a line of support that would be very bullish. And at the moment it looks like that's what's going to happen. Today's candle has not closed yet. But unless we have a dramatic move, it looks like we are going to hold that line. So that is bullish. What would be very bullish, what would be a confirmation of that is if we went up tomorrow. So that would really show a bounce off of this 200 week moving average heading back up in an upward direction, that would be extremely bullish. So that window is still open. I'm gonna add my lines back here and you'll see this arrow we've been following along, we have not deviated from. We're still today at 54 and a half on the daily RSI. So that is well within this range of upward momentum. I have this line of support that, you know, we're not anywhere near yet. So what we talked about yesterday is what would be very bearish is if we headed below 50 on the daily RSI, and if we crossed this line of support and went underneath that. Well, you can see we never got anywhere near either of those things. So like I said, it looks to me like all of the short to midterm indicators, in other words, where are we going in the next few days or the next few weeks, it looks like they're still fairly bullish. On a larger picture than that, I'm not gonna talk about yet. There's still some bearish signals hanging out there, but I do think there's the potential to continue this relief rally. And again, next Wednesday is CPI. So that still leaves more than one more week before we get a big data point. So I do believe there's still a chance we continue to rally for the next week. Really quickly, I wanna look at three Bitcoin miner charts in specific. There's some Bitcoin miners that have made some very big moves in the last few weeks or month. I'm going to start with Hive. So Hive in the last month, they're up about 67% and that's not even from their low, which was a few weeks earlier. So they've had a nice run. And, and mostly what I want to show you is they're at $4.86. So the thought of them being at $5 seemed laughable at one point during this awful stretch right here. It seemed like they were on a downward death spiral. However, all the other Bitcoin miners were getting beat up at that same time. This was that May, June area where Bitcoin jumped from about 30,000 down to 20,000. So yes, Hive got hit for the move in Bitcoin. It also got hit for the reverse stock split that it did right here. However, it has recovered nicely and it's just 14 cents away from $5, which was their target 
in doing this reverse stock split. So it is possible that this bull run, this relief rally is gonna get Hive to where they wanted to go. So I'll be keeping my eye on that. The next one is Riot Blockchain. So Riot in the course of the last month, a little less than one month, Riot is up 91 and a half percent. So this is a massive run up. So there are a few of these Bitcoin miners that have already made big moves and they're still much closer to their all time low than they are to their all time high. A 91 and a half percent move is a big, big move. They did get over $8 for a few minutes on the day today and then they pulled back. So, so Riot's had a giant run. I will look at one more. This is Core Scientific, which had a big day up almost 13% today. So Core Scientific from their lows just a little bit over a month ago, one month and one day ago, they're up almost 95%. So very similar run to Riot. So, so Riot was up almost 92%. Core Scientific is up almost 95%. And just to round it out, Marathon is up 144%. So those are the three largest market cap Bitcoin miners. Those three have been on an absolute tear. There are some that are lagging behind. So I'm gonna mention a few names that I think are lagging behind, but please remember none of this is financial advice. I am not recommending you buy or sell any of these stocks. Please do your own due diligence. You can see the wild moves that these stocks take. But for me, I'm looking at CleanSpark seemed to underperform over the course of the last month. Bitfarm seems to be stuck at a wall at around $1.50. And I also think Iris Energy, stock ticker IREN, has underperformed, as well as stock ticker GREE Greenage. So those are four that I'm looking at. Again, I'm not recommending those. This is not financial advice, but I think those lagged behind. I think they may be due for a boost. So that's the way I'll be playing it. So tonight's gonna be interesting. We'll have to see what happens. Hopefully the rally continues and we move in the right direction. So if you made it this far, please remember to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.